Hello and welcome to this learning video. Here in this learning video, we are going to discuss the second case of the Fourier series expansion of the given function. In the very first case, we have seen uh, the Fourier series expansion of the given function f of x when the interval is 0 to 2 pi. Here in this learning video, we are going to see the Fourier series expansion of the given function in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Okay. If the interval is 0 to 2 pi, then what happens to the Fourier series and what should be the uh, a0, a n, b n in this case? The very important thing in the entire unit is uh, only two things. One is the periodic function should be periodic and the second one is the interval. Depending on the interval, this gets changed. Okay, so let us see now. For the interval 0 to 2 pi, that is when c is equal to 0 and 2l is equal to 2 pi, we have this to be our Fourier series, okay, where this a n is, sorry, a0 is 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi f of x dx, a n is 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi f of x into cos n x dx, b n is 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi f of x into sin n x dx. The only change we have here is that in place of L we have pi, okay? And just because of that, these are the changes, okay? So for the interval 0 to 2 pi, you need to remember this, okay? And uh, here in this uh, learning video, uh, I am letting you know one important formula. And this formula is applicable when one function is algebraic and other function is any of the function, okay? So this function we can apply. So this is uh, nth time integration by parts of u into v. Integration of u into v by nth times can be written as first function integration of second minus derivative of first into integration of this. plus plus d2u by dx square into integration of this. So two time integration, one more time you have to add minus and so. Okay, so we are going to make use of this formula in uh, the very next example. Okay, so let us see what problem we have for this learning video. So the problem says find the Fourier series expansion so the question is obtain Fourier series Fourier series for f of x is equal to x square in 0 less than equal to x less than is equal to 2 pi. Okay, so this is the problem we have and now see here. We have already discussed for integral 0 to 2 pi we have this Fourier series where a0, a and b and these were the Fourier coefficients. So how we can start with this? We always start with the given function. So let f of x is equal to what is it? x square in the interval 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 2 pi. And let f of x equal to this be the Fourier series where a0 is this, a n is this and b n is this. Okay, so let us first of all find out <coughs> a0. Say this is to be 1, this is to be 2. So first of all, we are going to find out a0. So what is a0? a0 is equal to 1 by pi integration 0 to 2 pi. What is my f of x? It is x square. So x square dx. So this is same as 1 by pi. Integration of x square elementary integration x cube by 3 0 to 2 pi. So this is 1 by pi 
1 by 3 pi 2 pi q what is 2 pi q 2 cube is 8 pi q okay lower limit contribute to 0 so I am getting a 0 to be 8 pi square by 3 so this is the a 0 I am getting it okay clear now after finding out a0, let me find out then a n. So what is a n? This is my a n. So let us find out now a n. So if you want, you can write to obtain a n. So what is a n? A n is this. Now we have the function. So you can write it as 1 by pi integration 0 to 2 pi what is f of x x square into cos nx dx now as you can see this is integration by parts and here it is x square algebraic function so this formula is applicable so with the help of this formula you can write the integration of this in just a single line otherwise you have to apply integration by parts twice so it's better to write in one line 1 by pi as it is this is my first function this is my second function so you can say this is to be u this is to be v okay so first function x square integration of cos is sine n x divided by the coefficient of x that is n clear minus derivative of x square is 2x into integration of this what is integration of sine is minus cos nx by already n is there and n one more so this is n square so we have reached up to this now again one more derivative you have to find out <coughs> plus plus derivative of this that is minus sorry derivative of this is plus 2 derivative of x square double derivative so this is plus 2 into integration of this so that is minus integration of cos is sine sine nx upon already n square is there 1 and again n cube done no need to write down the further terms because the derivative of this constant 2 would be 0 and no further terms are required. Okay. And limits is 0 to 2 pi. Now apply the limits. So the moment you apply the limits, you will be getting 1 by pi. What are limits? Upper limit minus lower limit. So upper limit is 2 pi square into sine 2 n pi. Sine 2 n pi is 0. So this is 0 lower limit is 0 so 0 into sin 0 0 so for the first term upper limit minus lower limit contribute to 0 the second term minus minus this plus 2 by n square now apply upper limit minus lower limit so this is x x means you have to write 2 pi into cos 2 n pi minus x is equal to 0 0 into anything 0 now apply limits here so this is 2 uh, sine 2 n pi is 0 and sine 0 is 0 so this is 2 into 0 minus 0 okay <clears throat> so now you will be getting your a n as now i am writing here therefore a n is equal to so what is a n? 1 by pi is there. This first and second term, first and last term is 0. So we have this. Okay, so this is uh, 4 pi, 4 pi by n square and this pi. So this pi get cancelled with this pi. So this is 4 by n square. Okay, 2 to the 4 pi by n square and this is pi so 1 pi get cancelled so this is 4 by n square cos 2 n pi cos 2 n pi is minus 1 to the power is that 2 n pi okay so this is minus 1 to the power 2 n and anything power even 
माइनस वन पावर इवन नंबर इज प्लस सो ए एन इज दिस विच इज इक्वल टू फोर बाय एन स्क्वायर क्लियर कॉस टू एन पाई माइनस दिस इज जीरो ओके फाइन सो दिस इज माय ए एन दिस इज माय ए एन नाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट इन द सिमिलर वे बी एन सो व्हाट इज बी एन बी एन इज वन बाय पाई दिस एफ ऑफ एक्स इनटू साइन एन एक्स डी एक्स द ओनली चेंज इज दिस साइन एन एक्स डी एक्स वन बाय पाई इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन इज माइनस कॉस माइनस कॉस एन एक्स बाय एन माइनस टू एक्स डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस माइनस एज इट इज डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉस सॉरी इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ कॉस इज साइन एन एक्स साइन एन एक्स बाय एन स्क्वायर एंड देन माइनस एज इट इज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ साइन इज कॉस सो दिस गेट्स ओवर एंड दिस इज कॉस माइनस कॉस साइन माइनस कॉस सो दिस बिकम प्लस ओके नाउ यू कैन अप्लाई दी अपर लिमिट माइनस लोअर लिमिट सो वेन यू अप्लाई अपर लिमिट टू दिस सो इट विल गिव यू समथिंग हियर दिस टाइम so upper limit what is it x square means 2 pi whole square that is 4 pi square by n okay upper limit minus lower limit upper limit cos 2 n pi so this is upper limit minus lower limit what is minus lower limit 0 so it will b minus minus plus 0 minus 2 into 2 pi that's 4 pi into sin 0 is 0 so this is sin 0 which is 0 minus cos 0 so this this entire term would be like 0 minus 0 so i am directly writing 0 minus 0 now this term plus 2 by n cube cos 2n pi, so cos 2n pi minus cos 0. <clears throat> Now you look here. This is cos 2n pi. Cos 2n pi is cos 2n pi is minus 1 to the power 2n. That is plus 1. And cos 0, cos 0 is also 1. So this 1 minus 1 0. So we remain with b n. so here implies bn is equal to what is it this pi pi get cancel <clears throat> this is 1 and this is also 1 so this 1 minus 1 0 so we have only this term cos 2n pi is 1 so this pi pi get cancel so we have bn is equal to minus 4 pi by n so we have this bn clear Now, after getting this b n, a n, and a zero, put it in this equation number two to get the required solution. Equation two implies f of x. What is my f of x? F of x is x square is equal to a zero. What is a zero? This. So this is one uh, by two. This is one by two, and a zero is eight pi square by three plus summation n is equal to one to infinity. What is a n? A n is four by n square, okay, into cos n x plus b n. What is my b n? Just we have found out.
what is my bn plus bn is this minus 4 pi by n into sine nx clear now you can just solve this and write it precisely x square is equal to 4 pi square by 3 plus here you can take out 4 common I think 1 4 is already there or not 4 by n square okay <coughs> so this is uh, 4 outside this is summation n is equal to 1 to infinity cos n x by n square minus pi by n sine n x so this is the required required Fourier series for the given function f of x is equal to x square so i hope uh, this uh, things that have been discussed in this has been clear to you so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you